doesn't that make you want to use Windows 98? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, I know I said I was not going to do a video on Windows 98, but I decided to anyway because this is actually going to be a little bit of a hybrid video. I'm going to talk about this operating environment and I'm also going to give a few quick notes on VMware. This is VMware Player 313 and in VirtualBox, I'll talk about virtualization first. VirtualBox does not know how to handle 16-bit um, operating systems or 16... Ah, how should I say this? It doesn't know how to handle DOS. I'll <laughs> just put it that way. And of course Windows 98 is an operating environment. It's not an operating system because it runs under DOS. If you go to shut down, for example, one of the options is to restart in MS-DOS mode. That's because this whole GUI, that being Windows, Windows 98, is running under DOS. And whenever you try to use VirtualBox to do DOS stuff, it is just not pretty. It doesn't work well at all. VMware, on the other hand, this is just the free VMware player. Um, it works fantastic, so if you're looking to virtualize older operating systems that are uh, specifically older Windows operating systems that are not NT based like Windows 95 and Windows 98 Windows 3.1 and so on VMware is definitely the better choice because this runs smooth this runs so smooth compared to um, VirtualBox it's like night and day difference so anyway, I'll give a few quick notes about Windows 98 here. The first thing that surprised me about Windows 98 users is that there are some people to this day that absolutely refuse to give up this operating environment. Still, in 2011, all these years later, <laughs> they just don't want to get rid of it. So, and there's some people right now that are still using this ancient operating environment. So few quick notes on it. Now before I get into the apps that I installed here, which is really nothing to write home about, but I want to show you guys something. When Windows 98 was first introduced, actually when Windows 2000 was released in 2000, Windows XP was released in 2001, obviously there were a ton of Windows 98 users out there, particularly gamers. And in the late 1990s was a damn fine time for gaming because there were some great DOS and Windows games back then. So what people used to do, these gamers, is have a dual boot system that had a DOS partition for the Windows 98 and an NT partition, NTFS I should say, partition, for Windows 2000 or Windows XP. And they did that almost all the way up until the mid-2000s when they dropped uh, when uh, software makers stopped making games for Windows 98 and DOS. It went on that long. It really did. It was amazing. So, and uh, of all the DOS-based Windows environments, this is by far the favorite. Windows 98, there are people that have a real big affection for this. Uh, I will admit it looks real good. Just, it's a very clean look throughout. It's uh, doesn't have any of the wonky issues. Well, it doesn't have most of the wonky issues that Windows 95 had. And it runs great. So anyway, if you dare to use something this old, um, or if you're just building a vintage PC with Windows 98, here's the stuff that you can run in this. Um, the first thing I'll note is that this is Windows 98 second edition version 4.10.2222A. And uh, this is it is better than uh, Windows 98. The second edition adds certain things in it. I don't remember exactly what it has in it that's better. Mainly just updates and stuff. It's kind of like the difference between Windows 95 and Windows 95 OSR 2 or A and B as they call it. Um, B was the best of the Windows 95 and second edition is the best of the Windows 98's. So anyway we'll start with some browsing first the highest IE, just like Windows 2000, is Internet Explorer 6.0.2800.1106. 
when it loads the default page, it goes to Microsoft and says, you know, you did you know a newer version of Internet Explorer is available? Please uninstall that piece of crap you're running. Okay, it doesn't say that, but <laughs> it does say, yeah, you know, you can run Windows, you can use Internet Explorer 8. Well, not on Windows 98, you can't. Anyway. Firefox, um, the Mac, the you can run version 2.0.0. Oh, okay, I can't remember the version. 2.0.0.20, which if you're running Windows 98, you can go to the following address and get it: ftp colon slash slash ftp dot mozilla dot org, and then pub Firefox releases. Uh, scroll all the way to the bottom. And there's one for latest dash 2.0, and then Win32, and then you pick your localization, which is your country, uh, which in the in the United States is EN dash US, and then you download Firefox Setup, <coughs> excuse me, 2.0.0.20.exe, run it, and you get this. This is the version before private browsing. It has a privacy section, but no private browsing whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> I don't know anyone that uses private browsing anyway. Some people do. I think the people that use private browsing most are uh, Chrome users because of the incognito mode. It's the easiest as far as private browsing is concerned. And speaking of which, Chrome will not work in Windows 98, nor will it work in Windows 2000. You have to be running at least XP to run Chrome. Opera 11 will not run in Windows 98, but I believe Opera 10 did. Um, what else is there? Yeah, like I said, IE 6, you can only do 6. You can browse YouTube with Firefox 2, but every time you do, you're going to get this humongous nasty gram. I'll show you what I mean. See this big, huge thing here? Your browser is no longer supported. Please upgrade to a modern browser, but even though it says that, you can hit the X and still browse uh, channels and with Flash Player 9 <coughs> excuse me, installed, yes you can view video. As soon as it decides to start. There it goes. Hey everybody, Rich here. Yep. So, yeah, you can still do YouTube with Firefox 2 and <coughs> Flash Player 9 and it works with, without issue. Um, there are several, well I will say this though, I, I wouldn't do things like online banking with Firefox 2 or and I wouldn't do uh, other things of that sort mainly for the reason that Firefox 3 introduced a whole lot of security fixes and there are a fair share of security problems with Firefox 2 it doesn't matter how careful you are as a, a general internet user you just should not be using 2 in Windows 98 you're forced to only because you basically have no other choice. One that I didn't check out actually was SeaMonkey Project, which is another Mozilla based browser, which may work 2.0.11, that might work in Windows 98, although I did not check that. Well, let me check the release notes. System requirements, okay. No, you can't run that in 98. You could run SeaMonkey 1. <clears throat> in Windows 98, but you need at least Windows 2000 to run um, SeaMonkey 2. So basically you are stuck with Firefox 2. Which is okay, I suppose, but... Mm. Well, other than that, I have Miranda, which still to this day... Actually, I should bring that back so I can show you. Miranda.im.org and if you go to the download page, they do have a version for Windows 95, 98, and ME. They all, and by the way, for you Windows 64-bit users, there's also a 64-bit edition. And the funny thing about that is that there still aren't too many Instant Messenger clients to this, uh, to this day that have a 64-bit edition aside from uh, Miranda. I don't even think Pigeon has a 64-bit version of it, but Miranda does, so kudos to them to actually uh, offering it, which is nice you can take advantage of 64-bit processing if you have a 64-bit CPU. 
Uh, was there anything else I wanted to point out? Oh, I have MIRC. Um, this is version 6.16. It's an old version. IRC is IRC. There's nothing really to show there. I did put in a uh, 7-zip latest version 9.20, which works no problem, which is what I would recommend using in Windows 98 anyway. I would actually recommend using that on any operating, any Windows, because it works great. I didn't really put in anything else in here. Um, it does have uh, Outlook Express 6, just like, it, this is exactly like Windows XP. There's literally no difference between the two. Um, I would not use that email client at all because it has no junk protection whatsoever. Well, that's essentially it. There's really not much else I can show about this. Uh, the last thing I will show, though, is that um, what people like about Windows 98 is it did have a damn fine set of sounds. The uh, After I stop talking here, I'll play a few of the sounds and uh, you know like the Microsoft sound which is distinctively different from the one in Windows 95 it sounds good you heard the uh, the welcome sound when I first uh, booted into this that's not actually the that's the welcome sound but not actually the startup the Microsoft sound which you'll hear in a second and uh, it has the nicest ding the bing noise it that sounds great the chord sounds good the chime sounds good it's just one of those things where it's a very nice blend between uh, retro and modern. And anyway, I'll play a few of those after I stop this. And uh, on a final note, as I said in the beginning, if you're going to use Windows 98 in a virtual session, VMware Player, all the way. Don't bother using VirtualBox for it. VirtualBox is great for NT-based Windows, uh, like I said, 2000, XP, Vista 7, and so on. But for DOS-based ones, nope. Go with VMware instead. And uh, now I'll play a couple of sounds for you. <laughs> 